Tony, go ahead. Good morning, Greg. Good morning, Senator. Um, morning. I, I have a couple of questions. The first being on the qualified immunity, and that is, why would any police officer take a job where he could be sued out of his home, his family could be destroyed for a lawful action? If they break the law, send them to jail. It's funny that the senators have immunity against things they say in the will of the Senate. I can't sue you if you call me, if you defame me on the floor of the Senate, but a cop cannot get immunity. And the next question is, I just, or the comment is, I find it ironic to have talking up, somebody talking about misinformation. When you lied about your service in Vietnam, you lied to this country, and I wonder how you have the nerve to show your faith in public after stealing honor off of people who died serving their country. Thank you, and have a good day. Thanks for calling, Tony. Uh, let me first deal with your last point. Uh, I said it was a mistake, and I apologize for it, that I served in Vietnam instead of during the Vietnam issue, which is the way I characterized it countless times when I talked about it. It was a slip in a handful of instances. The fact that it was inadvertent doesn't make it right, and it was a mistake that I believe uh, merits an apology, and I gave an apology. And if you're a veteran, I apologize to you. On the issue of immunity, we need to face the fact that it's not just words that police are uttering. It's not defamation. You mentioned talking on the floor of the Senate. It's actually killing people. And so uh, we need to change the standard to give people a day in court. And you're absolutely right to refer to the standard that can be used in a criminal action against police. We want to make it easier to bring such actions by the Department of Justice, a pattern and practice investigation of police departments, but also a criminal action changing the standard of intent so that criminal authorities can actually bring actions more readily against police officers who violate the criminal law. So it's not just a victim having a day in court, it's also the criminal actions against individuals if they violate criminal law and they're wearing a badge. It shouldn't make any difference. And I believe strongly that the disinformation on the part of some of these private entrepreneurs ought to be policed more effectively on the sites by Google, Facebook, Amazon, because they have a duty to protect against this kind of disinformation or deceptive and misleading practices or pitches. Senator Richard Blumenthal, our guest, Democrat of Connecticut, member of the Judiciary Committee. Let's hear from Paul next in Portland, Maine. Democratic caller. 